Hi everyone, Emma McCann here. Tonight I want to talk about how and why pleasure changes your chemistry. So pleasure is basically anything that makes you feel good. You can consciously create this, or it can be something that you come across by accident just realizing that the thing you're engaged in is making you feel good. So it could be a bath, it could be a cup of tea, it could be spending time in nature, it could be wearing something in particular, spending time with somebody, reading a book, watching something, laughing, dancing, singing. It doesn't matter. Anything, anything that makes you feel good. Whether you have consciously created that activity and consciously gone about it to try and feel good and experience pleasure or whether you've simply happened across that feeling and that experience of pleasure and feeling good as a result of the thing that you're engaged in. Either way, it's changing your chemistry. And the reasons why it's changing your chemistry is because it's releasing your feel-good hormones and feel-good neurotransmitters. So what we're talking about here with feel-good hormones are the hormones that are involved in processes that basically pep you up. So endorphin, most of us will know that for its role um, in exercise, after exercise, we get an endorphin, hit of endorphins, and we can feel really good. And also it's quite famous for being released by the consumption of chocolate. There are a lot of other ways that endorphin is reduced and basically it's all about pleasure. So doing something that makes you feel good will release those endorphins. And also another really big one is oxytocin. And oxytocin is particularly present during moments of connection. It is really well documented for its role during labor, birth and bonding for all mothers and their babies across the mammalian species it's also present in some males across these species where it's important for the male to bond with those children it is also not only released then to bond you know a new baby with its caregivers but also released basically via any connection and any touch so hugging just hugging someone else is going to give you a boost of oxytocin so it can require very little connection basically with someone skin to skin contact is great to then give you a boost of this hormone that basically sets the pleasure pathway happening and in terms of our brain chemistry we have neurotransmitters which basically are sending a signal across the neural pathways in the brain i think of it think of the synapses as you know one has an ending and the next one has a beginning, something is released here, it crosses this gap, and this one will take it up and send it on its way. There are, of course, technical names for this, which we don't need to go into. It's just a basic theory here. So basically, if you've got something happening like a chemical depression, for example, you don't have as much of the neurotransmitters that make you feel good available in that gap for the neuron that's trying to take them, trying to receive them, to receive, to send on the way. So basically the message isn't getting from the start of the pathway to the end. So it's not necessarily that a mechanism is broken, it's simply there isn't as much of the neurotransmitter available to keep the message going fast enough. It's like if the hose is too slow, you know, you'll get bits where there's no water coming out and then you'll get a bit of water and then it'll stop and then you'll get a bit of water. So the neurotransmitters in particular here are dopamine and serotonin. And when we're doing something that makes us feel good, basically it's creating more of these neurotransmitters, which is making them more available, which is supporting us to have that message sent from the beginning of the pathway to the end so that we actually feel good. And this has a cascade right throughout the body. I mean, our digestion works better when we're feeling good than when we're feeling bad. We've got more energy. We've you know, got more life to our movement. Even our tone of voice changes. And the way we carry ourselves can change. So feeling pleasure is changing our chemistry, but it's also changing a lot more of our experience and the way that we carry ourselves, not just the chemistry itself. There's a flow and effect from there. So I talk about pleasure a lot and I've talked about pleasure being my number one life hack, but you know, pleasure really has an important role in also keeping us functioning and feeling great physically, not just emotionally. So I hope this supports you to have a deeper understanding of pleasure and how it can work for you and what it's actually doing in your body. Look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.